Welcome back to Switch to Linux. It's another Wednesday show. So today we are going to have a look at fixing the spell checker and a few other extensions and things inside of LibreOffice. LibreOffice itself is uh, oftentimes will have the spell check functionality working. Everything should be good uh, in it out of the box, but every now and again you might have a build that either doesn't have the spell checker or there's something about the spell checker that's just not working quite, quite right. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, have a look at how to fix that. Okay, so in order to do this, what we're going to do is I'm going to boot up a distro that actually has uh, LibreOffice installed. We're going to go into Chaos uh, because this one does not have LibreOffice by default, um, but you can install it. So I've went ahead and installed LibreOffice, and uh, this does come with the latest, LibreOffice 6. And so what we're going to do here is having a look at LibreOffice, if we go in here and we type in spieling, you'll see that it does not actually do spell check. Let me uh, see if I can uh, increase the uh, size for you there. So we're just going to go over to uh, zoom. Let's just zoom it in about 200% there. All right. So you can see that that's the problem. Of course, we don't have synonyms. We don't have spell checking working. Now, if you go online and look for a solution, they're going to tell you to come down here into your options and they're going to tell you to go down into your language settings and enable your language. So what we will see though is that my language is already enabled and under writing aids you'll see that we already have US English in here but it still isn't working. So a lot of this is probably due to how this particular distro packages LibreOffice. Um, it's probably lacking something and so you can't get this individual one working uh, in this manner. Usually this would be enough. So if that's not the case, what you need to do is you need to go and grab some extensions online. So in this case we will go ahead and click the add more dictionaries. This is going to boot up the internet and so uh, as it boots up the internet it will load us into the extensions page. So as we go over here, um, this is loading extensions. I want to go dictionaries. Let's go LibreOffice 6 dictionaries. And then there's a variety of different languages. And I'm not sure why, but the English one is on the second page, I think. Got to find it. There you go. English dictionaries. So you see that it was actually updated. I think I'm recording this the 27th. This was actually updated, I don't know, yesterday or today. And so what we have here is the extension, uh, which will give us uh, English, Australian, Canadian, British, American, and South African dictionaries. So if, if you can't get this working any other way, this is the way that you want to do it. This is kind of the fail safe. It will generally always work. So we're going to go ahead and download this. So you'll see we have downloaded it, and that will be in our downloads folder. So what we're going to do is go back here to uh, LibreOffice and we want to come into our tools and our extension manager under our tools menu. So inside of our extensions manager we want to click on the add and then this is going to import a file so just make sure you navigate to where that downloaded to, in this case it was downloads. Grab this guy and hit your open. You'll see it's going to uh, enable this dictionary here which enables your spelling, hyphenation, it also does include the thesaurus. So when I do this, we need to go ahead and restart. Uh, we do not care about saving that particular document. Um, so restarting this. Now if we go with spieling, now we can see that we have our little red underlining down here. So it is actually working. I'm going to right click, find my correct uh, spelling. Now if I right click, we see that we have uh, the synonyms there as well. Um, let me check if the synonyms are actually working. I saw the thing is here. So yep, it's so reported and uh, accordant. So you'll see that we have a variety of different synonyms on there as well. Uh, while we're on this, let's go ahead and look at changing your themes and your styles. Um, so this is the breeze icon theme, which actually I really like this one. It's not overbearing, but it's not your straight black and white. Linux Mint comes with a straight black and white looking one. I don't care for that one. Uh, the, the GNOME one might be a little bit too much uh, for some people. If you go back down into your options and you find your view menu, you will find your icon style. This is where these are. So we have breeze, 
we have Breeze Dark. Now the downside is when you click OK, um, you're going to actually have to uh, click the OK button and then go back in to change it again. So you'll see here, these are kind of designed for a darker theme, which we do not have running on this. So we're just going to go back down into our options. We can go into Oxygen, which kind of gives us this style. And I really like these ones too. These ones are a little bit more colorful, but not super overpowering. And we could also pick um, uh, this guy here. Now, um, and these ones here, this one here looks a lot closer to what you have on, on uh, Linux Mint. So that is kind of what we have going on here. Um, I'm going to go back to the breeze icons. So if you want to install more, these are in the configuration file for uh, LibreOffice. Um, but usually you can actually install these. The downside is Chaos does not have anything related to GTK or anything installed. And so you won't find them. Uh, but if you would pull up Synaptic Package Manager and do a search for uh, LibreOffice, I'm going to spell it right, of course. Um, what you would actually be looking for is LibreOffice dash style dash, and then you would find something else. Now, these other ones here are language packs. Um, but what we don't have is any of the styles. And that's actually because this particular uh, package manager does not have any of those. You could actually find those and download those. And if you were to happen to find them and download them, then uh, you could install them uh, manually. Uh, but that's actually how you make your adjustments to your, uh, to your icon packs and other things. So that is a really quick fix on how to do that with LibreOffice. So thanks for checking out this video. And let me know in the comments down below if this was helpful for you and if you'd like to see anything else on LibreOffice Writer. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here. And you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.